Hello, I'm going to show you how to put your baby on your back using a buckle carrier. And I'm using this technique where you don't have to take your baby out at any point. It's very safe and it's quite easy to do. Okay, so I recommend you start putting your baby on your back around six months. Obviously, if you want to do it before that, it's up to you, it's fine. Do ask for advice if you're not sure what to look out for. But when babies have full head control around six months, it's a bit easier to monitor them. All right, so we start from the front and then we go to the back. So I've got two legs below here and I've got my baby sitting in the front carry. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to start loosening my waist up a little bit, so just a bit so you can swing it around a bit more easily. And then I'm going to loosen my straps. So on the two legs below, if it's that way, I'll just loosen like this. And then here. So loosen so that you can just bring your arms through quite easily, but not too much that you'll be too loose and your baby might just start wriggling a bit too much. Okay, so I'm gonna hold baby. I'm gonna bring one arm out, completely out of the strap, like this. And then I'm going to hold the strap and bring the webbing on my elbow. This looks a bit weird, but please bear with me, it'll make sense in a minute. This is my open side, and I'm going to swing baby around this way. My chest strap is clipped, so the straps are held together, and that's what keeps the carry and the technique safe. So I'm going to start twisting very gently. Take your time, breathe. It's a bit scary the first time, but take it easy. If you're not sure, do you have a sofa or have a, somebody behind you to help. So keep twisting. When you can't move your arm anymore, you bring your arm around. Keep one hand on baby's bum, and then you keep twisting. Then here I've got my straps here. I'm going to bring my arm through one strap through the other one and I'm just going to retighten so on the explore I just pull back like this bring your waist but a little bit higher so your baby is close to your ear so you can hear them and then you're going to retighten here make sure your chest butt is nice and comfortable there you go so very important to keep monitoring baby use the mirror pocket mirror sling mirrors ones that we have we just clip on use your phone whatever just keep monitoring baby if possible try to avoid giving snacks because if the food doesn't go down the right hole it's quite difficult to keep an eye on that so if possible try to avoid that um and your baby can fall asleep like that it's fine as long as the head's well supported most carriers come with hoods so you can just bring the hood over you clip on the straps, just make sure the airways are always clear, it's very important. Okay, let's swing baby back around, so we're going to do exactly the same. I'm going to loosen my waist belt a little bit here, and I'm going to loosen my straps. And then I'm going to bring one arm out, hold the other strap, and then you're going to bring webbing on your elbow. And then we're going to pull this way. So pull on the strap that you're holding on to. And then bring your arm around, pull baby immediately. And then either you take your baby out or if you want to keep carrying, you need to feed or give snacks. Just put your arm back through the straps. Waist belt back up on your waist always. Tighten and then retighten. And you're good to go. When your chest strap doesn't move the whole time, it's set to just stay that way. Thank you for watching.